Salut la famille, welcome on this video where I will give you my top 5 tips for beginner photographers. So stay tuned. As someone who learned photography to trial and error and without the benefit of a mentor, I made a lot of mistakes throughout my photography journey. So the 5 tips that I will be giving you today are things I wished I have known when I started in this field. So let's start. Number one, refine your taste. There is a saying that says you are what you eat. As a photographer or an artist in general, you are what you consume. Good taste is acquired. It's not something that you are born with. It's not something that you just get like that. You have to work hard to get that good taste. There is a reason why a lot of musicians and painters, they are often accused of copying. And when questioned, they tell you, that's what I was listening to before going on the booth. It's because as humans, we tend to, to replicate whatever we like. And you as a beginner photographer, you will tend to mimic and replicate whatever you are watching because that's what inspired you in the first place. So doing a conscious effort into creating what you are watching will help you become a better photographer. As you may know, I will say 95 or 96% of photographers in the world, they use the same cameras, the same tools, everybody's using Photoshop, everybody's using Lightroom. However, some come up with mm, class pictures or word class pictures and others are coming up with cringy work. The difference is not the tools, it's not because they, they master some technicalities. The whole difference is just one has a good taste and the other one doesn't. When you are on Lightroom and you are dialing the sliders, if you have a good taste, you know what is a good color. You know where to stop with the, with the, with the saturation. You know where to stop with the clarity. And those kind of things, you will not know them if you don't have a good taste. So do a conscious effort into following on Instagram, for example, the best photographers out there. Maybe you can dedicate a period, uh, a period of the day that you go on the website of the best photographers and you see their work, but do a conscious effort into developing your taste. At number two, we have invest in glass, not bodies. One of the first questions I get when I'm approached by beginner photographers is what camera shall I buy or what camera do you use? And the obsession about cameras and bodies come from the fact that people nowadays take pictures with their phones. And generally when they move from a bad quality phone to a good quality phone, that results in a drastic improvement in the quality of the pictures that they are getting. However, when it comes to DSLRs and mirrorless, this is a little bit different. I want you to picture the lens or the glass as being your eyes and the, and the body as being your brain. If you have a good brain and bad eyes, you will always see blurry. Is the same thing with the body in the lens. If you have a bad lens in front of a, a good body, the body will only see the bad picture that the lens is giving it. I'm not saying that the bodies they don't have their importance. Of course, they control the resolution, they control the, the, uh, the autofocus, uh, the video quality. However, the investment in the lens should always come first. The second part of this tip is regarding their value. If you notice, manufacturers, they come up with new bodies every three months, six months or one year. However, the technology when it comes to, to lenses, it doesn't change often. A life cycle of, of a lens can be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years or even beyond. However, for the, for the bodies, a good body will last you two years, four years, five years, I would say six years if you push it to its limits. But your lens, you will keep it. So the lens is always a better investment than the body. The value also in terms of money, a body will lose 50%, 60% or 70% of its value after one year or two years. But your lens will keep its value throughout the time. So always invest in good glass. Number three, do it for the right reasons. There are a lot of people that get into the field of photography because they wanted to become insta-famous or to impress certain people around them. And there's nothing bad about that. 
However, your love for photography will last as long as those carrots will be there. We noticed that with what happened with Instagram. It was easy before to get to blow up on Instagram and all of a sudden we saw a lot of photographers. However, when they changed their algorithm and it became quite hard to get noticed and for photography to be there, a lot of people lost the love for photography because the carrot that they were chasing was not there anymore. So if you want to become a photographer, try to do it for the right reasons. Try to do it for the love of art, do it for the love of creation, or do it even because you want to make it a profession. But make sure that you are doing it for the right reasons. Number four, don't buy cheap. There is a nice French saying that says, I'm not rich enough to buy in good price. And I learned this the hard way. Most of my photography gears I had to buy twice because I never saw the value when I was a beginner. I never saw the value of an expensive uh, tripod compared to a cheap one or uh, an expensive light compared to a cheap one. When you just start, you think that that will do the job. But as soon as you will advance in your photography, you will notice that there is a reason why that light is more expensive or the tripod is more expensive. I did it for the lenses. Actually, I just did it not long ago with the, with the microphone. I bought a microphone that now I am confident that I will have to buy a second one soon. So if you buy cheap, you will always buy twice. So you better buy good quality from the beginning. I know this is hard. We are limited by our budget, but when you can buy good quality. Number five, don't get discouraged. This tip is actually the most important of the five. In today's world with the social media, it's easy to get discouraged. You start to see your work and you compare it to the best photographers out there and that will make you feel bad about yourself. You see someone posting a picture and getting thousands of likes for it and yours is getting only 20 or maybe you receive bad comments about your photography, which happens to me quite often. And all that will make you lose the passion that you have. But always keep an, an eye on the finish line and keep in mind that learning is a process. You will not start a master, you will become a master. So keep that in mind, do not discourage. Your skill will only grow with time and always keep grinding. And that's all for my tips. So thank you for watching this video. If you find that helpful, let me know. If you think I missed something, also let me know and uh, see you on the next one.